Lisa's parent passed away when she was very young. She was raised by her maternal uncle. Lisa's maternal aunt doesn't like her. She worked from dawn until dusk, but her aunt remained unsatisfied. One day, When will you go get the wood since you haven't cleaned the dishes yet? I'll go in a while, Auntie. Why don't you wake up early? Answer me. Actually, last night I got late. Again you are arguing with me. What's all the fuss in the morning? See how your adorableness is pointlessly arguing with me. And what did I say, Auntie? Have you listened? Make her leave the house. I don't want her in my house anymore. I'm going right away to get the wood. Don't come back after getting the wood. There is no place for you in my house. Huh. Lisa enters the forest to collect wood. She keeps moving, sad and defeated, until she reaches a dense part of the forest. Hey girl, that side forest is very dense, and there are wild animals. Don't you feel afraid? What should I be afraid of, Grandma? Oh, child, why so? I have no one in this world. Why? Where are your parents? They died long time ago. I used to stay at my uncle's house, but he also kicked me out. Not even if a tiger eats me, nobody will cry for me. Oh, ho, oh, sweetie, don't say all this. Come, you come with me. Where? You can stay wherever I stay at my house. But uh... I am alone. I make my living by selling lemons. It will be sufficient for both of us. Do you sell lemons? Yes, sweetie. From tomorrow, I'll go to the market to sell lemons. You don't have to take pain. All right. Let's move on. Hey grandma, do you live here in this big house? Yes, sweetie. It used to be a landlord's home, but no one lives here any longer. But now it's broken. It seems haunted. Yes, it's broken, but there is a room inside. That is good. I stay in that room. From today you will also live there. Let's go. Hey grandma, I'm hungry. Oh yes, you have been away from home for such a long time. Wait, sweetie. Let me cook food for you. You sit grandma, I'll cook. No child, it won't take longer. Let me prepare. You take rest. Hey, have some rice and mashed potato today. How on earth do you cook all these things so quickly? You just went and came so fast. No, actually the food was already cooked. You said that you would prepare the food? I forgot what I said. Actually I'm getting older, so I find it harder to remember. Come and have your food. Listen child, you will hear different noises in the house all night, but don't be afraid. What kind of noise, grandma? Because the house is old, 
a variety of noises may be heard. Stay inside all the times. Okay, sweetie. Okay, Grandma. Fine. Help! Help! I'm on fire! Help! Oh my God! What are all those voices? Hey, Grandma! I'm getting afraid. Grandma, where are you? I'm afraid. I have warned you not to come out. Why haven't you listened? Who are they, Grandma? Who was crying? Where? Nobody is there, sweetie. There, I heard some girl crying and calling for help. You have misunderstood. No, Grandma, I have heard clearly. As I have said, the house is old. Go inside. Go and sleep. Grandma, Grandma. Let me go and sell the lemons in the market. In the morning when Lisa wakes up, Lisa goes to the market with a basket full of lemons to sell. Do you have lemons? The lemons are fresh. Please take, sir. Wow, it seems fresh. What's the price of lemons? Please give whatever you want. Okay then. Take 2 dollars. Hey uncle, take lemons for five dollars each. No, I don't want it. I took it from that girl. Nice lemons at less cost, only two dollars. Oh, I see. She will ruin my business. Let me look into the matter. Hey girl, I hadn't seen you before. Where did you get those lemons? And how did you manage to sell it cheaper? My grandma brings lemons from the forest. She only comes to sell. Today I have come. Wow! You get lemons in the forest. Then it's a matter of great profit. I have to look into it. Hey girl, who is your grandma? I am the only one who sells lemon in this market. You cannot sell your lemons, so you are lying. I am lying, or oh, you are lying. All right, then come with me and talk to my grandmother. Let's go so I can find out who your grandma is and where is your lemon plant. Let's go. Grandma, grandma. What? You stay in this haunted house? Yes, I stay with my grandma here. Humans don't stay here. They stay here. They. They? Who are they? Ghost. Lord, save me. Leave this place immediately if you want to leave. Run away, run away. Ghost? Ghost stay here? What did he just say? Grandma? Grandma? Hey, Grandma. I call you so many times. Why didn't you come out? When I get out in daylight, I get hurt. That's why. But the lemon seller told me all those things. Why did he say all those things? What did he say? He said that house is haunted by ghosts. Is it right that no humans stay here? Yes, he is right. What do you mean? No humans stay here. Then you? I am also not human. What are you saying, Grandma? Yes, dear. Will you listen to the long story? Yes, I will. Won't you be afraid? No, Grandma. Who has no one has nothing to fear. You tell me. Then listen. This house once belonged to a landlord named Lord Dufferin. He was very cruel. He can take any action if he doesn't receive the taxes. I worked as the household's maid. That year, a famine broke out. One day. Lord, spare us this year from paying taxes. I don't spare someone who doesn't pay taxes. Lord, all the crops have been destroyed by the drought. No matter what crop we have in our store, it is insufficient to provide for the family itself. So, oh, what can I do about that, eh? my lord? Next year we will pay all the taxes. We promise. No, you must pay the taxes for this year now. Who's there? Hurry over and grab all the crops from their storage space. Okay, Lord. 
All of the crops from the farmer's storage rooms were taken by the landlord. Without food, the entire village was starving to death, unable to bear hunger and poverty. They entered the landlord's home in a rage and set fire to the storeroom. After that, after that, after that, nothing left. They were all burned to ashes. And you, Grandma? The fire burned everyone. including me since that day all dissatisfied souls have been seen wandering near the house no one found solace not even me and this house turned into a haunted place how will they get solace there is a pond in the house somebody has to complete their last rites to free their souls i'll do But grandma you will also be free and i will be alone again forever <laughs> if that is the case spare the last rites of my soul you know sweetie ghosts and people can get along too from today you are my granddaughter and i am your grandmother okay grandma